You're watching BBN Game Day, presented by Central Bank. Welcome back to BBN Game Day. There's plenty of history involved as the Cats travel to Knoxville to play the Vols today. Yeah, some of it not so good. Eli Gain has more on the long-standing rivalry as Kentucky will try to end one of its longest road losing streaks in program history. The Kentucky-Tennessee rivalry may not be as emotional or even as intense as, say, Kentucky and Louisville, but it's got to be right up there. These two teams separated by just two and a half hours, and plus on Saturday, Kentucky is going to try to end one of its longest road losing streaks to a single opponent in program history. Let's be real. The Kentucky-Tennessee rivalry on the gridiron has been pretty one-sided over the decades. There's been a lot of heartbreak that in part include multiple overtime defeats. Woodson has room, tackle from behind, it's fumbled, and Tennessee is headed to Atlanta. But recently, Kentucky has been on the winning end of a thriller. Johnson takes it himself, looking for a first down, and a touchdown! And Kentucky's back in front. Cortisone is a hell of a drug. Oh, but lately, it seems that Kentucky has let golden opportunities slip away against the Vols. Let's go back to 2018. Remember that year? Yeah, the year that they went 10 and two. Kentucky was ranked 11th in the country, still had a shot for an SEC East crown. They went into Neyland Stadium and... Kentucky comes up empty again. Got punched in the mouth. Then you look at last year. The Cats saw a 13 point lead slip away. Had a chance to win it at the end, but... Bowden keeps it and he's stopped. Well, this year, uh, after the, the Tennessee game in Knoxville, when we defeated Tennessee and finished the season eight and three, our players went down to the, to the end zone, and I really thought they left the field, and I was getting ready to leave the field, and I, somebody told me, that your players are down at the other end of the field, coach, and I turned around and looked, and there our players were down, leading cheers, singing my old Kentucky home, and on, on, U of K, with about 10 to 13,000 fans who had come to Knoxville to watch the game. So what's the significance of that? Oh yeah, quick history lesson. The year is 1984, the last time Kentucky defeated Tennessee in Knoxville. I was negative five years old at that time, not even born yet, and neither were any of these players who will be suiting up on Saturday. But that many losses to one of your top rivals in their stadium, that should bring extra incentive, right? It's only a big deal once it's brought up to you, like, oh, we haven't beat them in how long? Um, then that gets into the back of your mind of, okay, this has become, it's already a big deal. This has become an even bigger deal now. Um, so for, I'm sure for the guys, you know, their answers are always going to be, you know, it's just the same game. We have to come out here and play. You know, it's just another game. Uh, we have a, a long schedule and, a, and a, 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 a big schedule. We play some pretty good teams and uh, they're one of them. So we just focused on this game like we did every, every other game. To me, it's not that big of a deal of snapping a streak. It's just about going in and doing our job and winning. That's really the biggest thing. We gotta go in like every other week and do our job and make sure we can put our team in the best decision, uh, position to win. Steve nailed it, huh? Now this may not be the trash talk that we all want during rivalry week, but you know, when Blue and Orange gets together on Saturdays, a lot of pride is on the line. Well, it's 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 important. I mean, it's 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 a team that's it's always feel like um, you know you're it's in your side on your side uh, of, of the league. Um, it's an East game. It's it's a, it's a rival game. It's our neighbor. Uh, it's an important football game. In the studio for BBN Game Day, I'm Eli Gain. Thank you, Eli. So of course, the one that hurts me the worst is the four overtimes. That was here. Yeah, yeah. You know what? But last year, that video, seeing that video yeah. from last year, just sort of broke my heart all over again a little bit. Yeah. So we're enough of the heartache, enough of the let's, heartbreak. Let's we're ready. Get it done. Yeah. Today's the day. Today. Today's Coming the day. up next on BBN Game Day, we're going to go behind the face mask with one of the members of Kentucky's Big Blue Wall. We'll hear why Darian Kennard chose Kentucky and what his goals are for the rest of the season. That's coming up. <laughs> 